This is the best cheesecake you will ever experience. This is a crustless New York deli style cheesecake, and that means it's gluten free. There are only five ingredients, cream cheese, sugar, eggs, vanilla, lemon juice, lemon rind, and that's it. So let's get started. Start by preheating your oven to 450 degrees. You are going to need to put your two pounds of cream cheese out and let it come to room temperature. And the other thing you need to do ahead of time is take your spring form pan and lightly spread butter on sides and bottom. Okay, now we're gonna start by beating our cream cheese until it's smooth. We don't want any lumps. Then with the mixer running, we're going to slowly add our sugar. As you can see, this is an old time mixer. Cool, huh? This is one and a half cups of sugar. I'm going to scrape down the sides. Next, we're going to beat in six eggs, one at a time, incorporating them well after each addition. So, first egg. And egg six. I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl. My oven's ready and mix a little more. Okay, now then I'm going to put in one teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm going to grate some lemon rind, one teaspoon. It's my knife to get the rest of that off. And one teaspoon of vanilla. into uh, other ingredients. Next, 
Next, I'm going to pour all of this batter into our springform pan. There we go. And spread it. Spread nicely across the top. And now we're ready to put it in the oven. And what we're going to do is bake it for 15 minutes at 450 degrees. So set your timer for the 15 minutes. And then we're going to lower it to 300 degrees and bake for 45 minutes. So the cheesecake has been in the oven for 45 minutes at 300 degrees. And now what we want to do, it's got a nice brown look to it. And so what we want to do is turn the oven off, but leave the cheesecake in and let it slowly cool. That will help prevent it from cracking. So let's leave it in there for about 30 minutes and then we'll bring it out and let it cool slowly. And until it is at room temperature, we will not put it into the refrigerator. Now the cheesecake was sitting in the oven for 30 minutes to slowly cool down. And I've just brought it out and look how nicely browned it is. And as it cools, it's going to come away from the sides of the pan. But let's continue to cool it at room temperature for another hour or two. And at that point, we will be able to uh, remove it from the springform pan and then store it in the refrigerator. So my cheesecake has been in the refrigerator overnight. I'm ready to take it out of the springform pan. It has pulled away from the sides mostly, but I'm going to go on and run a knife down along the side just to make sure none of it sticks when I take the springform off. There. Oops. Might have been a little mess there. Okay. Now then, let's unfasten the springform. And lift it up. So there we have our cheesecake. Now we're ready for a topping. I made a cherry sauce last night. I uh, took frozen Bing cherries, a little cornstarch, a little sugar, and lemon juice and water, and boiled them for about 10 minutes and then refrigerated them. You could also use a syrup. Um, say like a caramel syrup or a fudge syrup. I have plenty of topping, but I don't want to get too much on there. I don't want it to be too rich. Okay, there we have it, our cheesecake. So if you enjoyed this video, please watch more of my videos and subscribe so that you can easily find my videos. So thanks for watching. Bye now.